And it's going. Okay. And no. Alright, so. Yep. I'm just gonna get off. I place my hand underneath his, holding his thumb and gripping the edge of his hand. Mm -hmm. I put my other hand underneath his elbow. Mm -hmm. You go in from this knee, mm -hmm. out and down. Mm -hmm. And what, 10 reps? Yep, 10 reps. Yep. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then always do one empty afterwards. This is kind of oh. like a stretch for the muscle. Okay. okay. Goofy ones. Goofy ones are running one at a time. Mm -hmm. um, you start in a canoe. You can put oh, the no. knuckles together. Okay. So I guess, or knuckles together out in front of his chest. And you pull his arm so his elbow is sitting at a 90 degree angle. So you hold it just like this. You can put his knuckles together. So move your hand oh. into mine. Uh, like, uh. <laughs> Only thing, just put, yeah, just like that. Do what oh. Like. oh, like this? Yeah, just like this. Oh, I see. Oh, knuckles together. Okay. Knuckles together, yeah. Okay. And you want to keep these two hands moving together. So you mm -hmm. start down by his lap. Right. And you pick his entire arm up right. to about shoulder level. It used to be eyebrow height. Awesome. You can go up there. to the outside. Alright, do a fist to the outside. I put one hand under his shoulder, mm -hmm. or under his elbow, and I hold his arm straight up. See how I'm coming straight out from his shoulder here? Right. So I'd be up like this? Yep. Okay. You want his arm, or you want his elbow level with his shoulder. Right. And you just rest it with this hand, and we're moving his arm down, mm -hmm. and then up. Mm -hmm. Almost like curls, but the opposite. Yeah. You want to keep his arm at a 90, though. So you go straight down, Straight up. Oh, I see. You're okay. kind of sliding forward right. there. Okay. Yeah, that makes me go back a little bit with the old You want to stay hand. back a bit. You're going for. You're, you're moving forward with each turn. Okay. You so want to keep. Just keep this stationary. Yeah, keep this stationary. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just rotate. Okay. Off that point. Then holds his arm straight out. I'm still holding his hand the same way, mm -hmm. and you just rest his elbow on your hand. You don't even right. really. Right. You, I mean, you can just do it without. Right. So just take this hand away, I guess. Okay. Uh, and you want, yeah, you keep it locked. locked. Okay. Right. And then you just flap down. Remember that arm is different. Right. right. So this feels a lot better done uh, in unison uh, than uh, when you only have one caregiver? It's a lot better for the chest and yeah. upper back, for Nine. sure. And switching back and forth, yeah. We usually go through all of them on one side and then all of them on the other. Can we uh, do an empty, empty one? Empty. Knee to the headboard. Alright, so now we basically do the same thing, but forward. So you start with his hand on his knee. Mm -hmm. and reach up. Got to keep that arm straight. There you go. Yeah, support a little with the outside of your fingers. So nice three. Four. Five. And go a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Six. Seven. I'm actually going to pull them forward a little bit. We can do these as claps. You know, they do them like that, so. Yeah. Right. This one I do a lot more with my foot than I do with my arms. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm moving it forward so I have room to step back. Alright. So you start with his arm straight out here. I put um, one leg close to the wheel. Yeah. And then I pivot off of that one leg. So I go from forward, uh -huh. and I swivel my leg and hips back to slide his arm back. Okay. 
See how I'm moving instead of my arms are moving? I'm going like this. Yep. And, and like then switch back. Yep. Just like that. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm getting a workout done. Six. Oh, yeah. You're exercising my hips so that tonight Seven. I'm going to feel that in the morning. <laughs> and I should charge for this, shouldn't I? <laughs> charge Nine. for the pain. Ten. And then we do an empty. And for a lot of these ones, I try to figure out ways to move with my body as much as with my arms. So I don't just stand here and do circles or right, something. Right. I actually move. Right. right. Smoother yeah. and fuller yeah. stretches. Because yeah. I'm... You just control everything and better. Twists straight out to the side right. twist. I'll back you up a bit because I think we're a little bit too close. I just wanted space for that one. Alright, now twists are a little bit different. Um, you need to use both hands working in kind of opposite directions. Mm -hmm. So I start with this hand under here. I just rest this hand underneath and right. I grab his wrist with this. Okay. So I pull his wrist straight back. Okay. I see how I'm reaching around to grab with my wrist already twisted. So you pull it straight up. I'm going like this and, and then to make I'm going I'm putting my hand to the front and around. No, nope, like, other way, flip your hand over. Oh like this. Nope, not like this, like this. Oh, okay. And then with the wrap whole, around. The whole yeah. arm needs to twist, not yeah. just the forearm. Well I know. But this hand just holds the forearm. Yeah. So I pull back with this yeah. while I push forward with this. Oh, with that. And then. Use it, use it, use it, yeah. Yep, but then I let go, swivel it forward, and use this hand to swivel it back. Like forward. a rolling pin. Yeah, see, I'm using two motions there yeah. to make one right. fluid twist. All right. And I go from palm up to palm up. Mm -hmm. I'll twist I'm this way a little bit more. Wait, well, this way? This way. So his palm oh. faces up. Oh, like this. Yep, a little bit further. Oh, like that. Okay, I gotta get my hand. Yep, that's why. That's why I reach so far forward to grab. Okay. So I just twist out. Yeah, it's almost. It's almost tucked under. Yeah. When you're starting. See, then I swivel forward and I grab it. Yeah. I tuck my hand there. Yeah. Then I push his arm back, and pull. Mm -hmm. See, I'm leaving my arm in both positions. Yeah. To make it easier on myself, and I don't have to spend the time to transition. Yeah. Somewhat. <laughs> kind of did it. It'll come. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. Maybe that. I don't know. Maybe about 10. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Chicken wings is next. Alright, so for chicken wings, I go back to grabbing his hand like this. I'm going to leave him. I'm sorry. Put his arm in right about to his chest. Yep. And we flap his wings. Swivel this out of the way. Put his hand kind of resting out on the end like this. Mm -hmm. I start with his thumb facing upright. Mm -hmm. I place these fingers around and I grab his four individual fingers. Mm -hmm. So right. I have his fingers right. with this and right. I grab his thumb with this. We just open. Oh, like that. And close. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Ten times. Mm -hmm. Finger wants to move her out of there, Don. Mm -hmm. I'm a little pinky. Remember that brand new motion. Yep. And okay. Extra circles? Yep. Pull them down circles with the thumb. Okay, so you take this thumb, mm -hmm. you start going up towards his knuckle. Yep. And then you rotate out. So then you come towards me. Oh, okay. Nope, you go up. Up. And out. Oh, oh okay. okay. See? So you're curling in, so his thumb is grabbing Try to do his finger. at the same time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, now we go to this one. This one we do the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. 
So you start going down and in, mm -hmm. and then up and out. There you go. All right, so there's one, two, three. You're bending the thing too much. Four. Time. You're trying to keep it straight. straight. Okay. Five. So you're focusing on this knuckle. Which one? Which knuckle? The big one. Oh, the big yes. one. Okay. Okay. Well, we're working here. We're not working my finger. We're working Eight. my forearm. Mm -hmm. Nine. Yeah, that's where the muscles are. Ten. Because if you look through through, through here. Yeah. Yep. Right there. Look when I move my fingers. Look what's moving along here. Yeah. All of these muscles are moving. To actually, control these fingers. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to hold loosely here, so you're not like tightening down and locking down his knuckles. Mm -hmm. But you hold loosely, so his whole arm can swivel all the way up to here. Mm -hmm. So the finger isn't moving, I'm just focusing on this knuckle. Mm -hmm. We'll worry about the rest of the knuckles in a little bit. Alright. Okay. Alright. Now to the middle finger. Mm -hmm. Same direction. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Bradley's got a little bit more fingertip. Oh. You're holding about the middle of the finger. Oh. There you go. Oh, See, I'm yeah. supporting the back of his hand too, so it's solid. Yeah. This is real visual. You yeah. just look at the knuckles. You can tell it, and the finger's straight. And you, yeah. If you're out here, you can tell that you're doing it. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see once you get it right. right. See that knuckle there? Yep. Just pop and drop, pop and drop. Mm -hmm. yeah. BLI. That is exactly what you want to see. Yeah. I don't want to sneeze. All right, so I swivel his hand and put it upright and kind of pull his fingers back to start with. Mm -hmm. So we're starting with the thumb. Mm -hmm. This is where you want to work the whole finger. Mm -hmm. So I put pressure on the tip of his knuckle, yeah. on the tip of his finger, and the yeah. back of his knuckle. Oh, okay. To go up, up and back down. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you want to hold this finger aside and go just his index finger. Mm -hmm. See, I'm driving it from the top, so I'm going to push in mm -hmm. and curl his finger on the way out. Mm -hmm. This is where you're working all the rest of the knuckles there. Yeah. All right, so there's one. his middle finger. Let's pull it empty first. All right, middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, big empty. Up to his ring finger. This way, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now there's pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you don't have to worry about the flexibility too much. Memory's been doing these for years and years. So you can go way back. Yeah. I always tell people if it looks like it hurt, then you're probably going far enough. Mm. That's fine. No, that's fine.
so fingers apart. You start with these two fingers out, and you're going to touch the thumb and index finger together. So I'm wrapping around in a circle to do this. Like just, that? Just, just, just like that. Just, just these just two, two fingers. Just two fingers on, not oh, the other okay. ones. Oh, just, just that one. Yep. Don't, don't even worry about the other ones curling. No. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I go to the middle finger. Mm -hmm. One. I'm going to try to keep his fingers back with this hand just because they're going to start getting in the way. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, one. Oh, that's right. Wait for me. Okay, I will. Now, as a rule, if we're in the middle of something, Tommy, like stretches, mm -hmm. and your cell phone vibrates. Mm -hmm. Don't stop and run and grab it. Mm -hmm. we got to prioritize. Bradley set a bad example. I think he, Sorry. Was, mm -hmm. he was testing him. Mm -hmm. Nice 12. <laughs> right now we go to his pinky. One, two. See, I'm using. Yeah. Call somebody later. Yeah. See, I'm using my middle finger to grab this while I'm using my index finger to keep these back. Oh, okay. It just makes everything so much easier. You're using uh, your, your I'm using middle? my thumb and middle finger to control this while hooking his fingers back with this finger. Uh, I've spent most of my life learning how to use each individual finger and appendage, like, right. solo. So, I should use the, oh, the middle so finger and thumb and keep this finger... Reach this over, finger and yeah. wrap this finger around his fingers. Oh, okay, like so I'm that. Something like that. Yeah. And then, use your thumb and middle finger to reach around his bundle of fingers to grab it. Oh, I got you right here. Yeah, like that. Right, like okay. that. Okay. All right. But see, I'm still managing to move his pinky right. while I'm doing it. Right. Okay, so open. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Gee, then try Same something. with the little finger? We just did the little finger. Oh, we did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was it. And we had the three fingers wrapped in. And God, I thought you had six fingers there for a moment. Yeah. Okay, we're up to triceps. Alright, so this is... Start the chainsaw? Yeah. Testing a fishing rod. Okay. So, um... Yeah. What you do here, you want to snap his arm forward like you're casting a fishing rod. Mm -hmm. See how my wrist is moving? Right. And my elbow is moving. Right. It's not just like this. I'm moving both of them. But right. you're not in time. But you, you want the wrist, the, the wrist have a little wrist action. Yep, you want a, yeah. wrist, a little bit of wrist action with the eye motion. Yeah. Yeah. So, let me grip your thumb. Grab it again like this. Start with his arm forward. So I'm holding straight out with his thumb up. You're going to come back to his elbow's up. Oh, okay. And you come back to his temple. And then forward with the wrist. Use this hand to get that wrist action. Oh, there. typically okay. right. Slow and steady. Four. Five. Oh, I feel that in my wrist. Yeah. You're going to find muscles you didn't know about here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got me in there, Don? Yeah. That's, you know how to do a flat bar, right? Yeah. You grab the bar, both yeah. hands. Yeah. That's what we're doing here. Okay. So hold mostly with this and just give a little bit of support with this hand. So he's just resting on it. Okay. And make sure he's straight back. Okay. And just go down and up. Mm. Just like you're working a lap bar. Mm. But it's okay if our imaginary lap bar hits from the head. Slow right. down.
And remember to keep a little bit of pressure on the forward part of his elbow because mm -hmm. his arm's trying to work forward. Right. Tommy's so you going, gotta keep it back. He's going a little bit too high, Tommy. Oh, okay. That's why it's popping at the end. Yeah, we're oh. not going quite to straight. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling it on, on the elbow there. Yep. Yeah. That better, Don? Yeah. Ben? Good. Just kind of big stretch. Alright, so big stretch. Take his arm. You go behind his head and lift his arm up. Lift the elbow. Oh, there you go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Cross the chest. Turn out. And across. Kind of reach a bit further out. Like Gotta push on the elbow rather than the hand. Like that? Like push here. Oh, okay. More than you're pulling here. Okay. Let me get this arm out of the way. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do those together. Okay. But you want to try to stretch, you want to stretch it okay. across his body. Like this. Yeah. yeah. Come a little further. There yeah. you go. Okay, and then reaches. All right. Reaches are the most intricate of the stretches we have. So watch an empty one and then try one on your side. Mm -hmm. So I start with his knee, here's his hand out of his knee. Come up to his belly, touch his chin. Yeah. Come out into a lat position. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Sit down. Back to the chin, mm -hmm. back along his belly, and to his knee. Except we don't pause in any of it. No, that, that's one nice fluid motion. Uh, that's why I did one slow practice one to show you. So it's, uh, it's up to knee, his belly. Belly. Chin. chin out, out. Up. up down, down. Chin. chin belly, belly. To knee. Now I'll do knee. a couple of whole ones while okay. Tommy watches. We won't pause. Yeah. You just brush stuff. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Again, uh, you don't want that elbow to pop nope. too far. You don't want to go straight. Yeah. And just to make it a little easier on myself, too, yeah. notice how I'm sliding forward and backwards. I have my legs spread apart, so I slide to this knee, mm -hmm. slide to this knee. Mm -hmm. Just makes the whole thing a little more fluid. Right. The more you can do this with your body and the less with just your arms, right. it's going to be so much easier on both of you. Right. So keep your body moving during these two. Right. See how that looks different than... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My mind wouldn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going out too far. Yeah. Thinking about the glide more than the stretch. Yeah. Have you about 10 in them? Yeah. Okay, I'll try those, Tommy. Yeah. Your turn. Okay. We can do these together, but I got distracted yeah. to teach you. So we're going stretch it forward. Up, we'll stretch there. It forward. You want to or, up, okay. up. Yep. Down. Up and down. Yep. You need to stretch it forward. forward. Okay. So I start pull. from straight. I go up and then down. Um, you want to end here. Stretch it forward. Yeah. Stretch it yeah. forward. Okay. So you'll feel me pull. Stop there. Stop there. Um, you're pushing way too much with his wrist. Yeah. When I do it... Oh, I'm bending his wrist back. Yeah, you're bending his wrist. Move your hand up a little bit so you have two yeah. fingers above his wrist, two yeah, fingers right below his wrist. Okay. Yeah. So then you start smoothing in. Hold on. Pause here. Oh. Look at how his wrist is sitting. Come up so your wrist meeting knuckle to knuckle. Okay. See how I'm keeping it yeah. smooth yeah. throughout? Mm -hmm. Instead of... When, it, when you were doing it, you were trying to drive with his wrist. Keep, keep, keep the hand, uh, keep the wrist this, straight. Yep. Like this. Yep. Up. And then a stretch. Yeah. With a person with limited muscle tone, like mine, you gotta really protect all your joints. Mm-hmm. He's pushing on the elbow too much. Oh. He's doing better with the wrist. Use his elbow just to guide him. Guide Don't him. push okay. anywhere with his elbow. Just rest. Do you feel it snapping? Yeah. What's causing that? Your elbow in too much, or? Well, you're holding set, his elbow too much. You're set yours oh. down. Watch what he's doing. Go ahead. And okay. He'll catch it. He's doing it with the elbow. See, he's pushing the elbow. Yeah. So when you or yeah. when you came up like this, you start pushing on his elbow too. Yeah. Try not to. Keep your hand just sitting here. So I'm not even touching his elbow. Uh -huh. It's just resting on there. I'm putting no pressure. I can keep a completely open palm and just let it 
right. glide through my hand. I'm doing all the work yeah. with this hand locked on his hand and his wrist. Uh -huh. And if you notice when I'm pushing, when you were grabbing, you grab too far up here, so you're pushing on his hand. Right. I move my hand down, so the meat of my hand right. is pushing on this part of his wrist. Right. See, I'm almost holding his wrist more than I'm holding his hand. Right. That gives me the proper grip I need to slide his arm through there. Mm -hmm. So you don't need this hand to support. Try a couple more of those, Tommy, and then we'll go to yeah. the next one. Okay. These are the hardest ones to figure out. Uh, try grabbing a little bit lower. You're still moving his hand too much. You literally want only two fingers on his hand, two fingers on his arm. Right there? Yeah, and then put these two fingers out further. See where you're locking his whole wrist in? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You're actually holding this bone right here. Okay. And you feel the meat of your palm pushes against the meat of his. See, it's not popping now. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to wrists next. All right. Yeah, here, here I was using this, this hand, holding it. Yep. And yep. I made it pop. Yep. When I when yep. I'm holding it. Whereas w once you go up, I can let go. Yeah. I usually make people not hold the elbow at all. Yeah. Just because they tend to push it and then it pops. Mm-hmm. Not the best form, but it keeps the joint safe. Yeah. Yeah. Could I get a shot of water for yeah. me on what we do wrists? See, I've done these so much, I analyze every little motion twist. And if you're ever having problems with any of them, do the motion yourself. And mm -hmm. watch. What part of your arm moves? What part of your wrist moves? Mm -hmm. What part? Where does your arm need to bend? How does it need to flow through there? Right. You know what I mean? Right. This is where you can use your own body to help figure these things out. So figure out how your wrist twists and bends best to yeah. do that. Yeah. Now try it with your hand locked up. The, or with your oh, hand you locked up like this. Like that. yeah, that's, right. that's how you were holding his hand. Right. So try to do that motion with your hand locked up. Right. See how that tightens up your right. entire arm? Right. You want to keep it smooth and straight. Yeah. Feel the difference? Yeah. He feels the exact same thing. Okay. That's why I say use your own body as mm -hmm. much as you can. A wrist. Alright, so for wrists, I place it so the uh, joint of his wrist is just off the front part of the mm -hmm. armrest. Mm -hmm. So we have full motion without hitting anything underneath. Mm -hmm. and we'll open down so, first. We start with going up and down. This is my favorite way to hold him for any of these, really, because it just allows him to grip my hand. It emulates a nice, good handle for him to grip on, mm -hmm. and it gives you the most control. Mm -hmm. and you want to try to grab like the edges of his wrist, mm -hmm. but don't put a lot of pressure on top, mm -hmm. because you want to allow his okay. whole arm to okay. get out of the mix. Because, mm -hmm. again, look at what moves in your arm when you just move your wrist. Mm -hmm. It's working all the way up to here. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to lock out any of those things. Right, so just on the sides. Just on the sides. Just yeah. a little bit of support, just yeah. so it doesn't make a lot of work. Sideways will be next. Huh? Then we go in and out. See, ups and downs, sideways, pretty easy mm -hmm. to remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, and circles. Right, so circles will start down, in, and go up and out. Ten. Other way. Alright, so we're going to go up and in. Shaking hands. Mm -hmm. Alright, shake your hands, just put his wrist upright, mm -hmm. grab his hand like you're coming up to shake his hand. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then exactly what it sounds like. Down. Shake his hand. Up, two, slow, three. This is where it gets really critical too that you gotta go smooth and steady. You know what I mean? You don't wanna do fast and jerky, you wanna slowly bring it up and slowly bring it down. You wanna make nice, even transitions. Mm -hmm. See, that's very fluid. Mm -hmm. Next one will be a wrist curl. Try not to snap it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just nice and even. Mm -hmm. Alright. Then 
the wrist curls are exactly what they sound like. You know how you do curls? I'll flip his wrist over. Mm -hmm. I do curls with his wrist. Push it down. This is the one you want to try to get his hand in a fist and get his thumb over the top, you know, so he's gripping mm -hmm. in an actual clenched fist. And then you use that fist to push him up and down. Now this is why it's hard to try to localize the pressure. You almost want to push down on this side a little bit more. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to squeeze his arm down. Because mm -hmm. that right. totally... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just touching the sides here yep. to keep it there. Nine, ten, interlace fingers. I'm just trying to play the devil's advocate and think of anything that could possibly go wrong. Oh, no, no, that's fine. So yeah. interlace your fingers. This is again exactly what it sounds like. Put your fingers in between his. Fun and easy just to kneel down to do this. <laughs> So much. Yeah, I like this idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is never been. This is like arm now. wrestling now, huh? Yeah. We'll so go to the Wisconsin State Championship here. So yeah. you hold like this, and you want to keep your arms straight out from his, because you don't want to twist your wrist when you're doing this too. And if your wrist, oh, is I should use my uh, my other hand. No, either way, I I yeah. would use my yeah. right hand on that. Yeah. H however, feels better. Yeah. Like right. I said, I spent my life trying to be left-handed as much as I am right. So. Yeah. All right. So both of you go out. So we start out. Yep. Yeah. And then in. See if I keep my arms straight like this? I'm just rotating my own wrist. Mm -hmm. The way you're doing it, mm -hmm. you're twisting your wrist weird. Pop your arm out straight. That's why I switch hands. So your oh, arm can okay. come straight out. Okay. And it doesn't matter which hand you hold. Right, 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 right. There so it is. Yep. Yeah. There we go. See how that's keeping your own arm and wrist right. minimized too. You're not doing anything weird with your own right. wrist. It's doing exactly what your wrist is designed for. Yeah. This way you're not going to hurt anything, you're not going right. to pull anything. So you got to watch how your own body is sitting on here too, so you don't do anything bad to yourself. Because sometimes you got to contort yourself to do some of these motions. Mm -hmm. So contort carefully. <laughs> Especially for floor stretches. The only thing I feel is, is my lower back. Yeah. 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 Okay, next we go with punches. Well, the only thing you feel right now is your lower back, right? Lower down. It's very... <laughs> Starting a lawnmower. <laughs> I, I did tomorrow uh, morning. I did down yesterday. It. Yeah, I quit the lawnmower. I'm gonna hire it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So starting the lawnmower, imagine reaching down, grabbing it, and pulling it up. Uh -huh. So your arm goes in a straight motion. Right. And your elbow twists. Right. That's what you're emulating here. So we start here. Mm -hmm. Come straight up. So I'm trying to keep Slow his arm good. going straight mm -hmm. and limit all the motion to his shoulder and his elbow, mm -hmm. which is exactly what this should be working. Mm -hmm. He's not pushing my hand. Right. Much. A little bit to keep it straight. But again, notice how I'm gripping it, so I'm putting the pressure here in his hand. Right. You're moving everything from this hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not really doing much with this hand. Yeah. Sometimes I catch the inside of his elbow and pull a little bit. Right. Only a little bit to help out. Right. Okay. That's the only gripping I do. Okay. Time. You're up. Okay. Nope. Go you want to keep his arm straight. Oh. Remember the straight line of this arm? Yeah. That's why I had you do it, to see how your arm travels straight. You're still letting him come out. There you go. Slow him down a little bit. You should be feeling me in these. Keep your hand in. Can you feel it? Can you feel him pull forward and push back? Yeah. There you, you know, go. I'm working. If you don't feel that, mm -hmm. stop. Right. Yeah, you gotta be careful with all of these. Don't just move him. Move with him. Right. It's a little bit harder to feel it on that side, but that side is easier to figure out the path. And I'll test you. I'll just sit here. I won't pull once, and I'll watch and see if my arm still moves. Mm -hmm. Just to see if you're paying attention. Mm -hmm. So don't just get stuck in the motion of just doing the same thing over and over. Actually work with him. Right. Okay. You're not just moving his arm. You're helping him move his arm. Are, are you using strength there, yourself, yeah. on that motion? He is on all of them. That, well, that's the whole point, I've is he does it with you. whole way I've been doing. Well, I mean, am I, am I uh, doing all the physical work for the movement, or, you, or do you actually have bicep muscle that's actually pulling? Very, very little on the right side. The left side has got more. Oh, okay. So on that side, you're probably doing 90% on the work. Mm -hmm. This side, you want to do 50, if not less, percent of the work. Uh -huh. So you're helping direct, but you still want to make him do as much as humanly possible. Right. Otherwise, what's the point of doing exercises? Right. These are to get his own muscles working. Oh, you're doing is ro you rotating joints. Yeah. yeah. yeah you don't want to just yeah. rotate joints. You want him to work his muscles. Yeah. yeah. 
So it, it's going to take a little bit to find that balance between you doing it and you letting him do it. Right. So check it. You just sit there and say push, push, push. I can't always tell. You might have to tip it off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Move it a little bit and then I'll push. You'll feel it. Mm -hmm. Especially with the left arm. With the oh, yeah. Left. This arm's a lot harder. You can actually push back a lot yeah. more. There's a lot more specificity. Go straight ahead. All right. So, punches straight ahead. I just set my hand here, mm -hmm. hold his hand here. I'm doing most of the driving with this hand again. Mm -hmm. you see how I'm controlling his wrist. Mm -hmm. Try to learn the script where you're putting two fingers here, two fingers here, and the meat of your palm is pushed against the meat of his palm. That's how you can get the maximum amount of pressure into his arm mm -hmm. without twisting his wrist or hurting anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we go forward and back. He's trying Beautiful. to punch the head of the midget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fully extended or not on the punch? Uh, Pretty Not much. Almost. almost. I heard pop. Yep. First time. Yeah. If he starts popping, then you're a little bit too far. Yep. It won't pop if I'm moving. If you're you're stopping too early. A little bit further forward. Yeah. You need to stretch her out. I guess, yeah, he can work too straight. Yeah, just go the full just, thing. Just judge it by the popping. Feeling me because it speeded up and I speeded up. Okay, mm -hmm. now punches out to the side. Cat, go fishing around out to the side. So now remember how we did that two part before where I moved this and then I'm controlling his wrist to add that little wrist action to the flick? Mm -hmm. We're doing that same thing mm -hmm. out to the side. Keep the hands sideways. See how his knuckles are um, or, uh, vertical to the ground. So this entire time I'm keeping his hand upright. Sometimes it helps to grab a stick as a reference. You used to call it hammering a nail. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's, he's punching like a girl. Yeah. He's switching that to palm down. Um, keep the hand straight all the way. You're, hold on, stop at the bottom. You're sitting like this. You want to be like this. Like this. You yeah. gotta twist I gotta be in a different wrist. position. Yeah. For me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then come back to the temple. Come all the way to the temple. So I guess here I'm holding even further down on his wrist. Mm -hmm. So the meat of my palm is actually pushing against the bottom of his palm instead of the center of his palm. And you want to be careful to try to move his hand with this, not push by his thumb. Yeah. See if I let go with my hand, his hand still goes forward. Yeah. I'm not using that thumb at all. You know, there's 10. Now this time do an empty, I will not push. Can you feel the difference? No, oh. nope. very subtle. That bad well, arm. Well, try punches, try the, both those stretches, punches forward and sideways with this arm. Okay. So we're going to start with this hand here mm -hmm. and put your hand underneath. Remember, gripping his thumb. Well, yeah, bring it back. Hold him down. You're using your other hand for this, so it feels a little yeah. weird. Right there. the hammer, bring right it back. There. Yeah. Back. You want to start so your knuckles touch the back of this cup. Oh, okay. All right, I'm there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a swing. Look at this guy. He's been lifting weights. Oh, yeah. But you can tell. I mean, there is a yeah. difference between the sides. Well, it's, yeah, tremendous. <laughs> he, said, he locked it. He locked it in. <laughs> Just testing him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... And then what was the other one you this wanted one. to do? The same, the same two we side. just did. So this one where you're coming out and across, and remember the rest Oh yeah, i got to go this way. It's the hammer. Yes, the hammer. Okay. Hammer now. Come to the temples. Come to the temple. Wait, wait, wait. Don't come back until I pull back. Oh. It's really important with that arm. Oh. Because otherwise I'm just following you. Try to step out sideways a bit more. Notice how you're standing up here doing it. Yeah. I'm back here. Yeah, um, yeah, I might be able to do that. No, but way. no, hold on. Check this out, though. You have you you have your hand way in by his thumb. I slide my hand out and put the meat of my hand against the edge of his palm. Look at how I have his hand sitting there. See, I'm barely yeah. holding his thumb, but it's completely locked in here. That way, I can push up. Oh, by the thumb. No, not by the thumb. By this. This right here is what I'm using to push. Oh, you, this part here. Th this part of his hand goes into there. your palm. 
Okay. Yeah, but I still... Like that. Yeah. And see, if I completely let go with my hand, he's still moving. Okay, yeah, uh, my thumb barely gets into his thumb you, then. For my, my, it, my shape of It my doesn't hand. have to. Look where my thumb is. His thumb? Between. Oh, yeah, 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 right. It's completely pushing from the bottom side of his hand. Right. See how that localizes it all to his hand more? Mm -hmm. And you're not pushing off his mm -hmm. thumb? You don't want to use his thumb. Right, right. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. But again, start out a little bit more, because you're doing these straight ahead. Mm -hmm. We want to do these sideways. Okay. Like so notice how I'm standing actually behind the shoulder. Yeah. Going in front of my chest. Okay. That Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm doing it that way. Sure. No need to make it hard on yourself. Yeah, right. Like I said, figure out the right. easiest way for you to stand while right. doing this. Okay. Now we should switch it back, and then because we just got butterflies. Yep. Yeah, circle. All right. See what I'm starting with that? I don't know how to learn the form. <laughs> really hard to form with the other because if you do it wrong, it fights at you. And if I'm just saying. And if you like start reaches wrong, if you do the first two reaches at the wrong path, it's a pain in the butt to do the other eight because his muscles start to lock up if you do it wrong. Yeah. So you have to follow the right path with this arm. It's gotten very, very used to the right path, the path that we've trained to. Uh -huh. So you gotta try to follow that path, otherwise it's gonna fight you the entire way. Uh -huh. That'll change with this many different caregivers here. Well, yeah. No, we learn a lot of So, you know how butterflies go, right? Holes are yeah. Bring his... Elbows come together. Elbow. And, and uh, elbow. Elbow. Oh, okay. elbow. Okay. Well, both. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Slow and steady. You know, good chest yeah. exercise. Yeah. And this one, I'm actually using this hand to pull his elbow back more. This right. hand is just chilling there. Right. Oh, they're carrying his hand now. I like to start with a nice wide foot base so you have room to mm -hmm. kind of shift from leg mm -hmm. to leg. Just trying to get you to shift more than leaning because right. that lean is what's going to hit your lower back the most. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, by going like, uh, well, I'll show you okay. afterwards. Okay. Maybe yeah. I'm being too cautious, but I mean, no, no. I yep. always try to use my legs as much yeah. as you want. Just circle, possibly. Alright. So, for circles. If, if I'm leaning like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Whereas to bend, you know, mm -hmm. just use the legs. Yeah, just use the legs. I mean, notice how my torso doesn't even move. Yeah. I'm just shifting yeah. from knee to, to knee. knee. To knee. So it's all in my knees and hips. Mm -hmm. And then all the pr all the work you're doing is right. with that too. Right. So you gotta slide his arm in, but then my arms stay still for most of it. Mm -hmm. So it's literally all in my legs. Right. Right. That's why I've been walking. Yeah, <laughs> to strengthen your legs. <laughs> okay, let's do circles. All right, so circles. Hold his arm out. Yep. You want to drive mostly with this one and kind of support with that one. Okay. And we're gonna start forward, down, back, rowing. down. Yep, rowing. But for you too much with the elbow though. Okay. Um, when you come up, yeah, you want to come up to here. You don't want to go any higher. You don't want to go any further back. You want to keep this as your max point. See those arms straight out yeah, but and straight up. But you see, I'm not back that far Step yet. back a little bit further. He's tight. There you go. Okay. I know he's going to be tight. Okay. Work slowly. Okay. So you go forward all the way down. You go down as far oh, as you can. Okay. Yeah. And then up. Okay. So you can go forward and down as far as you want. Right. Mm, but you down. can't go any higher or any farther back right. than straight. Right. Mm-hmm. I guess sometimes we work a little bit higher, but that's after you work his arm loose, if you're feeling good. Mm -hmm. And you can really listen for any popping and snapping because mm -hmm. shoulders are taking a hit from doing this wrong right. occasionally. Yeah, yeah. Now the other way. Alright, so now I stop here. Yep. Now I go down, down. forward, up. up, and back. Yep. <clears throat> you know, uh, this exercise, uh, because uh, you could uh, pull something yep. with him, uh, you really have to look at his shoulders. Yes, you do. And, and the height of where you're at. That's why I say don't go any higher or any farther back from here. Right. We don't even push it. Yeah. Up to about 15? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, let's... Now, uh, of all the exercises... Here and four forward so far, there's probably three exercises uh, where... Uh, 